Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. My name's Ryan Peters, and for those of you who don't know, and today we're gonna learn all about the Eastern King Snake. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta come in here, knock, 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 and wake him up. Hey, come on, buddy, we gotta learn. Let's learn. Now, these snakes range in size from three to about four feet. They are covered in very shiny, black, smooth scales. They're covered with wider, yellowish chain link bands that cross their backs and connect along their sides. This is where they get the nickname chain link snake. Now, they range across the eastern United States, ending north of about New Jersey-ish area. They do enjoy hardwood and pine forests, bottomlands and swamps. You can find them hiding in rock crevices, old burrows, tree holes, root piles, and so many other places. If it's dark and cozy, they'll eat it up. They will also venture into urban areas, so you may see them around your yard. And if you live in the eastern U.S., they are non-venomous, so don't kill them. Have them rehomed somewhere safe. I repeat, they are non-venomous. I repeat, they are non-venomous. Non-venomous. Also, they're terrestrial, and they inhabit areas close to the water. They make excellent swimmers, like, well, most snakes do. They are diurnal by nature, which means they'll basically be active during the day, but they will happily hunt at night as well, especially in the hot summer months, because the day is way too hot for all that. They are solitary, so they are usually running the streets alone. They spend their days hunting, basking, or resting under foliage. During winter, they hibernate in caves or rocks. They defend against their predators with musk and rattling their tail to imitate a rattlesnake and scare you off. But again, non-venomous. It makes a rattle noise when rattling in the leaves. Cool fact is that they can eat venomous snakes. I said that right. A non-venomous snake eats venomous snakes. They are not immune to the rattlesnake's venom, but they have a certain level of tolerance against their venom. They are non-venomous, and they'll take down venomous snakes for a snack. And that's why they're my favorite snake species. King snakes rock. Ha, huh, the underdog all day long. Don't even lie. They are carnivorous constrictors, so they squeeze their prey to death, which is not the nicest thing to do, but they do eat other snakes, amphibians, they'll even eat small turtles, lizards, small mammals, and even eggs. Now, that's about all I got for Eastern King Snakes. And for the people that stuck around till now, I got a little cool story for you. My man King is our personal King Snake. He's the only animal we have ever actually bought to buy. He was actually an anniversary gift from my wife because he's my favorite snake species. And my guy King is an ambassador for our vlogs and frogs business. So when we interact with people and animals, he is one that we let kids hold. We'd let babies touch. Like anybody can play with him. He does great. He's done great many times. And he actually has another job with our business and that's testing new enclosures. And that's because he stays a week in a new enclosure and he spends his entire time trying to escape. He is a professional escape artist and has even unscrewed the clasp that lock on an aquarium glass lid. He is a professional and has even had multiple times where he's lived, I mean, weeks at a time, not in his cage at all. And eventually we find him again and he comes back. He is the goat of escape artists is the best way I can put it. So yeah, that's my cool story for the day. And if you stuck out till then, now you know that he's the best and he could even be under your bed right now because he's a very good escape artist. So if he is, um, come bring him back to me. We miss him. And otherwise, uh, I love you guys and uh, have a wonderful day. And remember to uh, stay super rad. <laughs>